Gotta run, boys! Gotta run! Oh. Did I miss? Did I miss anything big last time when I couldn't load in? No, we didn't do oh, much. Not really. we, I crashed my ship, picked it back up again, and then I was really up. Needs welding. Yeah. Scott proved his can fly, that's about all. Oh, where is my ship? Oh, yeah, yeah. Scott moved it a little bit. Okay. I moved it mm -hmm. over here. Where we're going, where... Oh, we, we were trying to get this car container up off the ground. Uh, oh, and right. we, no, we I cut the front of the ship off and it smashed down and broke the cargo container and crashed the game. Oh, yeah. That doesn't look very safe. Yeah, so don't break this cargo container. It will crash the game if you break that. Well, there's so much nickel in it. Yeah, basically. Oh, boys, the ball so is big. It just went the pull. Well, it just sits there, but then the game's like. <laughs> and after oh, a second, it crashes. What we, need to, what we need to do is grind off the front of the ship around mm -hmm. it, get your, your ship to fly down, maggle it for up. And then we'd connect to the same grid as the main ship. Oh, so we need we want to recover that container, do we? Or empty it by hand, which will take ages. Oh God, no, we're not emptying it by hand. We're doing it in a more constructive, mental way. Yeah. So we need to get it up onto the ship and connect it to the grid. Just so I could I just do that in here. If she can find it easier way to connect it, fine. There's no way to connect that to the grid. It, how heavy is it? That'll be the test. Probably heavy. Be he like, will it be so heavy that my little ship won't be able to lift? We it, won't so? know. We don't know. Yeah, but if we find, we'll only, there's only one way to find out, and it's the hard way, and no one wants to find out that way. That's for experimentation. Well, it should be fine. It's You're just, not gonna be able to Your ship out. just won't go up. You, you, did you, have you already tried fitting it? Uh, yeah. How did it's, that go? Uh, melted some of the ship. I'm gonna save this in case I blow up the container. Alright, can we get an intro? Okay. Hello everyone, we'll, we'll welcome get... to Joy Survival. Adam's oh, about to break the server. What? Oh no, sorry, one stage was it? It was Scott talking. Good damn it, so Okay, we're not gonna break the server here, we're gonna be very uh... What was that? That was my gun not firing at the bugs because I'm okay, out of ammo. Okay, okay, that's gonna shit out of me then. Okay, you're too so far you need to come forward. Hey! No no head biting me bugs! Okay, am I forward enough? Nope. Stop trying to eat me! Ooh. Okay, I'm, far I'm more forward, how about that? No. Your landing gear's still black. Uh, Fuck it. off! PG to bloody Scott. They, they're but actually. I'm, I don't want all the screaming Scotsmen shouting fuck off in my video. And they're actually climbing on top of each other to get me. Okay, this is proving. Oh, happy, happy, you're you're locked on. Okay, let's see if we got any power. Uh, no, it is a very heavy. Do you want some bad news, Anne? Yes, there is a bug now in the back. Yeah, of my he's in your shirt. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he fell through the floor. Don't worry, no, he fell through the floor. <laughs> you sure? It looks like he's still. Oh, oh, okay, he's just dug through the floor of my ship. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that was quite entertaining. Oh, I'm still in here. Oh, hold still. Let me in. I'll come in and grind I just him. saw him pop up. No, he, he, he was in here. He's now your first mate. Was it? I didn't feel very safe. Okay, he seems to have gone anyway, luckily. Okay, well, next time we'll try. We'll have to grind the front of the ship off and bring sages down. Okay, yeah, but you need a, yeah, but we need something really powerful. Hopefully, sages will actually be powerful enough to lift I'm it up. Pretty sure sages might, oh, might be powerful enough. Yeah, we'll, well, we'll have to see. I don't know how heavy the container is compared to the thruster and weight ratio we'll need. Uh, if we can't lift it, we're bugger. Hmm. Hey. Another note. No jumping what? up for me. Hmm. Another note. Another note. Yes. Hold on. Hold on. I'm just positioning my ship. Bugs are getting. In another note, did uh, you know what I would like to bring up before our discussion? that we did have about games not being like games used to be. Because mm -hmm. uh, since I was in the loading menu and I was discussing how um, the Division E3 press release is nothing like the Division is now. And it's like a cop of super fancy graphics in the very early versions and then later on be nothing. Mm -hmm. Nothingness. Care to no. share your thoughts and opinions like the you did nothingness. before? Since um. the second time we do it, it's never as exciting, is it? I wish we would have read that discussion we're actually in the game. God damn it, Aaron. You were in the game. Yeah, but I was loading things. Yeah, okay, never mind. Let you off. <laughs> I don't know how. I don't know. It was exciting. I was very emotional. It was. It was good. Before. You can't be emotional again. It doesn't work, I don't think. 
video game well, I can't publishers are, are liars. Sure. <laughs> no, no, the basics behind it. Uh, you've got to be careful because videos and pictures can be doctored. Scott says. Well, the, the basic gist is the old days. You know, always felt like they'd show you a game, and you're like, "Oh my god, that's amazing! I can't wait till it comes out. It'll be even better than what they just showed." Whereas nowadays, they show you a game, and you go, "Oh my god, it looks amazing! And this isn't even done yet!" And then it comes out, and it's a quarter yeah. of the graphic fidelity it was. Good example: Watch Dogs, for instance. There you yeah, go. Watch Dogs to be sure. And that upset a lot of people. People went mad about that. Well, they were right to be upset. They, they, they were told it would look this cool. And it got worse and worse and worse. And it came out and it was just a guy in a trench coat that was badly textured. It's... I yeah, don't know. Look how it's it work bad on. how they do that now. It's Here's the, the shiny picture and... They don't even try it. They like... Make you think that's what the game's gonna be, and then of course, then the game comes out, and you go, Well, this isn't what you should be in the advertisement. And then they go, Oh, well, that was just advertising. Well, yeah, in the old days, you know, because they have that in the old days, that message at the bottom that says not representative of final game product just meant if there's a bug, you know, that's that's mm -hmm. why there's a bug. Nowadays, it means, Yeah, this is just the best we can do, and we're really gonna dumb this down and make it run on your fucking 360 piece of fucking shit flim that sits in your goddamn basement <laughs> and just deserves to burn. Well, that's one way of putting it. That, that shit phlegm 360 that lives in your basement. I know, the 360 is a previous console, but there's the Xbox One, and apparently it's not the powerhouse it should have been, eh? Of course, if it was a powerhouse, it would have cost a fortune, and most people, I guess, are not willing to spend a fortune. It's just a shame that they don't have the graphical settings to allow people on a higher NPC rig to still have the awesome graphics while having it, unfortunately, dumbed down for the console people. Exactly. Do, do, maybe maybe they will have it this time. Maybe 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 we're jumping to conclusions. And maybe once it does come out, PC will be able to set it to be this amazing level. I doubt it because it looks like a lot of the geometry has been cut down, and it's probably not going to tessellate up and down. So it means they have to have completely different <sighs> versions. Or is this ah. division you're talking about? Yes. Yeah. No, like it's I said, just, it yeah, was very you clear can't have two different versions like that now. because there's just not as much clutter on the street, which means there's not as much to block your view. So if you up your graphics and suddenly there's more clutter, suddenly you're going to be hitting stuff where other people are just yeah. going to be shooting through it like it's not there. It's like, yo, what is this fucking bullshit? The games have done that before. They've done that where you have low text. If you set your textures to low, it just tables grasses and stuff. Yeah, people but that's grass. I'm talking like grass. a garbage bin or something like that. Okay. And like big clumps of snow, which often block bullets in games. I don't know. Maybe they would be special. But it has to be consistent, because if they have it, oh, it blocks bolts here, but not over there. <laughs> I will be very irritated to that as well. No, I am not. I'm, sadly, I'm not touching. I will not touch the division unless I see stellar reviews from a reviewer that I trust. Yeah, I'll wait for a Total Biscuits PC report sort of thing. Yeah, same. <laughs> so I'll wait for that, and then I will make my call. Until then, no, they can. They're not getting my money. It's. I just, I don't trust AAA developers that much anymore. Uh, I well, like I was saying earlier before we started, it has so much to do with, I think, money and mis marketing. Money and marketing. I thought, again, the thing is, it's usually not developers, it's the, it's the, the fault. It's mm. usually they get a PR company in, and they're the ones that are at fault. Well, the PR or, more to the point, their uh, publisher. Well, as I was mentioning earlier, Mass Effect 3. That game really did feel like it was all directed by the publishers. Okay, we need to wrap this up, and we need to make sure we close off as many of these loose ends as we can. It doesn't matter how well you do it. I mean, the, and they also felt like they went to a marketing company and said, Okay, what do people like the most? What do they like to see in games? Because we need a lot of sales for this. Okay, people like, they don't like RPG elements too much, so strip all those down to absolute bare minimum instead of Mass Effect 2, where they were just, well, greatly, greatly diminished, almost not there anyway. And then, okay, they like really fast combat and all this stuff, so like, you know, d guiding your group became completely pointless. The combat became roly poly, which. I will admit the gunplay and everything in that game was fun, it's just, well, it was enjoyable, but it felt like they killed a lot of what made Mass Effect, Mass Effect, and Mass Effect 3. And you get the feeling they did it because they had a lot of search results that just said, hey, people like fast action more than talky-talky dialogue. The dialogue tree is evident of that because they took out a lot of the middle ground options, which I always, I often, about half the time, chose middle ground options. It's like, I don't feel strongly one way or the other, yet they dumbed and cut those down. Hell, what is it? Fallout 4 is also oh, did you notice that. that? Uh, 
oh, in the way they horrible. castrated that game's chat the system. The dialogue, it felt like it wasn't even me talking anymore. That's why you have no, the it, it, You felt like you were playing uh, this character instead yeah. of you actually being, you know, you or whatever character you want to play as. Yeah, because back it's in like, day, I used to imagine my own voice in my head, like, of the character. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm so actually good. fine with the character having a voice if, you know, it gave you actual dialogue choices again. Mm-hmm. It's just dumbing down of stuff like that. Is well, some of the dialogue, you know what was stupid about it? Was it didn't it really was only tell four you... choices and yeah, it was no, just but, uh, no. grumpy, happy, whatever bullshit. No, but what was worse, it didn't actually tell you what you were going to say. It just mm -hmm. give you like a hint of what he might say. Yeah. So then so then you pick an option. He says something completely kind of related. And like, that's why or it comes off super sarcastic. And like, wait, what? what? That's why PC Masters. Yeah, I, I, I've never really been into Fallout. But I did play a fair amount of Fallout 3 and some of New Vegas, like, you know, 10, 12 hours of New Vegas. But when I got into that, I burned out really, really quick. And I think really part of it was I didn't feel invested or like I was really involved in it because, well, I didn't feel like I was there. I felt like I was playing as some other character. Well, you know, first like if you played I this Commander Shepard without any I being was real, able to compare. It was real to me. The, f the first Fallout, I felt like I, I was part of the game. But, like, I spent hours and hours collecting trinkets, decorating... My apartments. Well, you, you're talking Fallout 3? Yeah, Fallout 3. I used, the, to, uh, I used to collect things, drop things, put them on shelves, put them in the bathtub. I used to have frag mines that filled my bathtub. It was amazing. Not anymore. Well, the the dialogue problem in, Mass, in Fallout 4, you can fix with mods. Um, yeah, but you should have to fix it. It's mods, still only you? those four options, though, isn't it? Uh, well, Even though you well, can yeah, see what they're saying, it's still I, only four options. Yeah, it's still that. Whereas in the past, happening. it'd be okay, you got this like skill check here, you skill check there, ask more or carry on, and mm -hmm. this, that, and the other thing. Where all of a sudden it's like, eh, here's a few little options for you. What? Just a few little options? Okay, great. The dumbing down of, you know, like Mass Effect 3, it had that dumbing down of your, you know, talking wheel. It was just like, wait a minute, no, no, I don't want to choose a side here. I just want to see what's going on before it ends. Just, just fucking infuriating. Oh, choosing sides in Fallout pisses me off as well. Like, I always play neutral all the way through. I know, but when, you can't in Fallout. Oh, yeah, eventually. I hate, I hate, don't, I don't know spoilers, but I hate forcing to fucking choose sides in, in games. I am the neutral man. Captain Neutral will be the name. I know, but for a progressive story, for any story to progression, you need to eventually pick a side. That's just no, no, not necessarily. Is. Because they used to have that, like, the, in Fort Vegas, they had what was it called? The like the was it? Oh, the name of the guy? Oh, it's it like a lonely survivor one or something. Independent survivor was it? Uh, he took over Ve Vegas for himself. Did you not? Did you I'm going to say something actually? that probably get me into trouble. I did not like Vegas. But still, that was an example of how you could have a neutral ending. I, I was more, I more prefer. It's not necessarily neutral, but your own way. Yeah, your own. You could put your own way. That it was the most neutralist way of doing it. It was like saying, "Bugger off, Legion. Bugger off the other guys." Construction. Yeah, why would you want? To, it was kind of like, why would you want to set? I never understood why people. Were like, I want to side with the Legion. Oh, they kill the people well, yeah. for the lols. Like, if you sided with the Legion, you could call in the parties of Legion people and they just, like, totally destroy people. Well, why like, do people side with Trump? They're soulless monsters who are just out to serve the devil and suck his dick. There you go. There's your example. Or, even worse than that, people would claim they're idiots. But I like to believe people are, for the majority, not stupid and just rather serve Satan. You build a little fighter still, Scott. Yeah, it's nearly done. How's, how's it coming along now? I see it's there, but I'm, I'm not yeah, really I've seeing... I've made mistakes in places. I'm trying to fix mm -hmm. them. Cemetery's off a little bit somewhere, and I can't figure out where. Oh, no. Mistakes were made. Worst in the dissymmetry department. Dissymmetry? Symmetry? <laughs> Desymmetry. <laughs> Rather round his front. A failure of symmetry. Uh, right, let's, um, let's build myself a little one then, I think. To work out a reasonable shape for it. I don't know about you, but do you think all objects should start with steel plates? I'm just going to pull it out there because um, because you can if everything started with steel plates, you could build things really easily. Start with get like the the, sh the shape of them and then fill them in with other components. Mm. I don't know what you think. Might be all right. Because at the moment, like, I want to build this cockpit. Easier. I want to build this cockpit, but I've got to go to the crate and get a construction component, 
So, so, and then I want to build something else. And if it's just started, everything started with, with um, steel plates, that means I could place it and get like a feel of how it was to, you know. No, I, th template. I think that's all right. Yeah, that would be nice. Because I mean, one of the things that pisses me off the most is honestly, um, when you're building piping, because the six-way connector requires interior uh -huh. plates. So you're like piping, piping, piping. Oh, I need interior plates. And interior plates, even though when you drop them on the ground, they're the same size as steel plates, take up like twice the amount of inventory space. Yeah, it's like, wait a minute, strange. you mother cracker. <sighs> there we go. I'll... Fast rate, right, I Seriously think. Seriously, out of metal? God dang it. Well, we're actually out of steel. Steel oh, plates. I'm making an achievement there, uh -oh. to be honest. Jesus, we run out. The amount of resources we had in this thing. We will we'll need, we'll need to think about constructing a, a mining something at some point and see how that works, but. Uh, I want to try and make a mining truck. I need truck. Remember I showed you yeah. that concept, uh, Sage? A while what was back? the concept? Yeah, yeah. A JCB kind of idea? An like arm? Oh, with like an arm? Yeah, but we know how well arms work in space engineers, don't we? Uh, it's, it's lucky that uh, little Charlie down there survived as long as he has. Yeah, again, because we're not actually, uh, because we're not near him, the bugs have left him alone. Come here, bugs! There! Over to Charlie! Oh, shite! Before my hydrogen runs out, I should grab some more picks. Good, nice. None of them should have. That thumper thing still that we've been raving on about for weeks. <laughs> when the Joe's gonna kill us, we always just go and annoy him with ideas. Well, you know, it's better that we give it. We, we are doing ideas because the, the other option would just be say nothing, and then saying nothing doesn't achieve anything. Did I put a ten on this? Okay, let's get some wheels yes. down. Oh, so, so you... more detector in it. Oh, okay, you get no detector. Oh, Aaron, you may have not built this tall enough. Hmm. Kind of a problem. Hopefully something will be able to lift this down when we've finished. No, we can lift it down. Your ship's quite got quite a decent lifting capacity. Yeah, it's because it's quite light. That's that's what I was trying to aim for when I built it. Yeah. You were able to lift uh, Charlie up here. I was. I was, actually. But when did Charlie get back down? Right, we lifted him back down. Sage went, uh, Charlie is no longer useful up here, and I said, all oh, right, I'll take <laughs> Well, honestly, with the times whatever speeds and stuff we're on, he was barely useful in the first place. But yeah, yeah. It was a cool concept, though. I like that. Very cool. I will not lie. It was very, very cool. Well done. I, thor I thoroughly enjoyed it. Why did someone come along? Without with our things? times whatever speeds it and inventory. I, I, like, awesome. half the blocks at the bottom I'm not going to even use. This man, this, there's a man just welding frantically my... Oh, is that the you scar? always complain that I don't help, and I do help, and you complain <laughs> what? that. What? You're the most helpful person here, including Sage. That's a wheel. <laughs> I love the way these wheels look sometimes when you're building. I was like, Boop. I don't know. You think I'm not a fan of big wheels. Boom, ba, ba, da, 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 da. <laughs> right. I still need to figure out why I'm putting this weapons on this. These guns, lots of guns. It's a really big problem. No, go fuck yourself. <laughs> These wheels are actually appearing this time. Quite hey, hey, everyone look up. See me up here? Yep. Oh, yeah, huh? Huh? Ready? Ready? Okay. Ready? <gasps> you survive? Oh. Okay, that's no. A no. And yeah. that is, you should see the. Well, that's caused a lot of frame rate issues. No, no, no. I'm not just looking at the line on my uh, Audacity soundboard. You just tidy your way a bit. <laughs> it just maxes out for a solid section there. Is there like a hole we can tuck in? No, it would be dead enough there. Oh, it's weird how it varies between two different sort of uh, ragdoll and. Um, I think they might have disabled ragdoll, honestly. It doesn't seem like it happens anymore. You kind of just feed us up. What, what was the point of having the, added the feature just to disable it? Uh, because it was cool and then they caused a bunch of lag, I think is what happened there. Then they brought in the backpacks. Well, it's a better way of dealing with it. Except for when they don't despawn or when they despawn when you're still getting shit out of them. Mm. Yeah, we did see that on uh, uh, that... Joe oh, server? Joe server on the uh, radar. <laughs> oh, the little black dots. Yeah, but then... uh. The server admin cleaned it up. 
<laughs> By the way, that uh, radar mod, I'm not too impressed with it. Uh, it just display squares. Yeah, and they're so small, it's like, my eyes hurt. I know, but you can change the resolution, you can zoom in. Oh, okay, well, I take everything I just said back then. And that was the first, when he was showing me, I was like, okay, that asteroid's a little dot, that asteroid's a little dot. Oh, we can see all the ships, that's cool. Can you zoom in? Yeah, you zoom in to the asteroid, and then it became like 12 blocks. I was like, okay. I can see so this. How, how does it work? Does it actually give you an image, or is it just that square like I saw? It's kind of just grid based. But does it not give you like a proper image, like an image of the asteroid? No. You think they think if it was an actual proper, but if you retrieve the, the actual asteroid, couldn't you from the database and then project it? I know, but you have to think, Adam. It's done. It's doing that all. That's, in it's real a box. Time. Those, those are voxel-based asteroids. You're not going to be able to retrieve an image of the box. Yeah, no, thing. no. But I mean, like the, the every asteroid was started as a stock one, wasn't it? Well, yeah, but it's it's like a basic. I think it's like a bounding box where it generates a voxel shell inside it. So you're not going to be able to get like a mesh that you can just project a grid on or something, or use a wireframe of it. You're probably right. I'm pretty sure it's just like it's a bounding box that it uses and fills it in. It's a, it's a great thing. Oh, uh, bloody hell. What have we done, Anne? What? That's <laughs> shit with the wheels. <laughs> well, why did you only build it up? Why? I would build, look how hard I, I built mine. There's a reason for that. Look how hard you built yours. Hi. Okay, hard. <clears throat> there we go. Hard, you little shit. Built it hard, right? Yeah. Hardy har! <laughs> Hardy har har! Oh, you're a funny one. Aaron, how do you know how many. I'll have to count the blocks, aren't I? <laughs> what was that question gonna be, Aaron? How do you know how many blocks it's gonna take? Oh, right, it's just typical, right? I build it really. <laughs> Finish the sentence! Finish the captain's sentence! If people saw inside my mind, they'd be very confused. We'd be very all worried, probably. It's quite legit most of the time, but sometimes... I just don't know what happens. And you spent three days talking about uh, your delivery. Did I? Uh, yes. Okay, At least two. <laughs> frustrated about that. That was a very frustrating thing. It did sound frustrating. I would have honestly just waited another, like, few days. Sorry, I, I had... I, it's just clothes! Is it a trench coat? Did you get, like, an awesome World War II era trench coat? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, no. Did, or maybe, like, the uh, trench coat bags I used from Dune? Oh, I like that oh, idea. The guild from the, uh, what was it called? The trading guild? You, did you know those were actually body bags? What? Oh. Yeah. They, they took body bags and cut them up and made them in the trench coats. <laughs> That's why they oh. have that sort of slick glossiness to them. Because they yeah. were designed why are body to hold bags shiny anyway? Stuff. Well, the, because they were, they were the type oh, of body bags, you know, it. where if a person... Oh, yeah, okay. exactly. I see. If a person <laughs> leaked. This went on a dark to twist. <laughs> when they turn into soup. <laughs> from our order to... Um, <laughs> for body bags to keep fluid in. Ugh. I'm not a body bag sort of fan. Mm. I don't know how many people are. You gotta remember they made Dune in the 70s too, so things have changed. And it's a good point, Scott. I don't think many people are a body bag fan. Oh man, I love my body bags! I just crawl right in there and slip <laughs> right away! I have all sorts of body bags. I have no, a collection. I, know I have, have used them. I have the rare. Things. I have the rare Disney body bag. Oh, what's that? Where Mickey Mouse is? Yeah. Hello, kids. Time to die. Oh, I thought he was dead in the body bag. I know on eBay that'd go for quite a high price. Why have I just got a picture of a Hello Kitty body bag? Look, ooh. How much a bit if I Google Hello Kitty body bag, there will be something? <laughs> You'll be surprised. Yeah. Yep, we're doing that. It only comes up with the rule 34 results. Da da da. Do you know what actually all completes the body bag? Born? I go no, I wrote Hello Kitty and then it, the three things this Google's come up with is Okay, Hello Kitty and I hit with the word body and it all completes to spray, wash, pillow, bag. Pillow. Mm. Wow, really bag was interesting. Mm. Oh and it's Okay, even though I've put body bag, it's giving me like purses. 
That's not as, uh, that's that's not as bad. I really. But okay. it all completed <laughs> body bag. I was like, what the fuck? Building the big rover. Gonna be mining and shizzle. Shizzle? Weasel, mother. I was hoping for the help, but I saw it all. But I was like, oh, let me say hello, Kitty Body Bag. Well, you'd be surprised what the other contains. I do feel like we're living in fear of the bugs a bit, like we're hiding up top on like a... Well, you can go down oh, there yeah. and just give them a hug. You're right, and I don't fancy doing that. Hello, little buckies! Hello, my little friends want to hang out. Yeah, they, uh, they just want... Go your... out to the club and give me a shout. They just want your love, Aaron. What? Love me all night and love me all day. You did tiny buggies. Just want to play. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. How, many, how many bugs can spawn now? Is it 10? It's more than 5. German techno music. I always find that quite funny. Funny, eh? Yeah, I do. Like, haha, funny. Do you ever see Super funny, Troopers? Funny? I don't think so. Oh, no, no, no. So, do you have a techno music in that? That's, that's very amusing. <laughs> uh, right. So, looks like we've got some wheels going on here. That's not right. I wish we didn't pass for the train and see it for me. You know German Sage? Only a itty bitty babby bit. What, did, did you learn it or did you just pick it up? Uh, I had like two years of it in, call, in high school. Oh. I mainly passed because of Google. Oh, that's, that's an interesting fact. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Oh, I do have Rosetta Stone, so one of these days I'm going to get around to learning it proper. Because I do quite love the language. I wish I'd like to learn some foreign languages. It's quite... I want to learn a really interesting one, though. German? Mm, I don't know. Is German an interesting one to learn? I think it's just the best. Some people like it. Uh, Arabic. Um, oh, what's Ara a, Ara a very, Arab very... Language. Arabic, did you say? Like, yeah, like a, like an Arab sound. Wouldn't that be interesting to learn? Ooh, you sure as hell get yourself on a list right quick. Yeah, maybe, yeah, true. Or maybe... <laughs> That, You're probably already on the list just for saying, I'd like to learn Arabic. Oh, something, so, I mean, something that like oh. has very, it looks really interesting. Like, German the German just uses the same letters as us. Mm, that's true. Russian but, looks pretty damn yeah, cool. That looks cool, but Mandarin. I that's, that's that would always be useful. Yeah. Any Asian languages would probably oh, actually be Chinese quite interesting. Chinese would be interesting. That's Mandarin. Is it Mandarin? Yeah. yeah. I thought they slightly different. Because it, Japanese. Japanese, sorry. It's Korean different. That. My Korean. cousin speaks about Japanese. Yeah. Hey. That's pretty cool. I hear it's stupid complicated. It's actually not as complicated as English, but we brew up with English. Supposedly. English is a very strange language when you, someone from an outside, outside perspective looks at it. We have a lot of words that are the same, the same, thing. same thing, but mean different things. Once a context, yeah. Where all of don't have that problem. Oh, it's kind of cool. Like bitch can mean a fucking whore, or it can mean a female dog. I mean other things too. Uh, yeah. Working kind a of potato, in other words, in the English language. <laughs> Just like a fucking whore can mean a different thing. It can mean <laughs> having sex with a whore, or it can mean someone's a really big whore. <laughs> I'm in a bad mood today. Sorry. <laughs> like C. C. C is a good one. You can see. You can... No. Yeah. You can... yeah. At least they're spelled oh, differently. Right? Yeah, true. But if you say if you said it to someone, they're trying to speak it. Other mess. Can... It's all about in the context. Isn't it like Scott said before. But for someone like me who's dyslexic and has to use voice rec software, those words can get a real pain in the arse. Is that what you're, you're, you're telling the computer to say something? You're like, no, I don't mean that. I was yesterday. I was trying to see. I was writing something high. It was like something was higher than this, and it just kept on writing the word high. 
I was like, HR. Uh huh. I was like, fuck's sake. That's where you have to proofread everything again. You know, I swear to God, I think the first time I did a proofread of my dissertation, it was like, <laughs> it's all wrong. It's all wrong. Or it was all right, and because you have a dyslexia, it just looked mm. like mm. it was wrong. Was like, okay, dyslexia. <laughs>